Hey everybody, Almost Mythic here, back with another Magic Gathering Arena video, and today we're going to be doing Azorius Flyers. Um, this is a deck that I've kind of wanted to put together for a little while now, but I've just really been putting it off. No real specific reason why, I just haven't really felt like doing it. Um, it's a uh, it's a really interesting deck. It does uh, it does have some you know some interesting play lines and whatnot. Uh, so Skycat Sovereign is uh, probably one of the biggest reasons I would put this deck together. It is, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a big old boy when it's all said and done. And uh, obviously Imperian Eagle, I mean, we've all seen this deck a million times. I just, I thought I'd showcase it here just in case anybody hasn't. Um, yeah, so um, today is going to be another unedited video. We have a, uh, got a big old storm rolling through the... Uh, rolling through the area so I'm just hoping to get this out before the power cuts out um, anyways if you do uh, like the video please like and subscribe it uh, I really would appreciate it and uh, let's jump into some uh, games here okay and we will be playing this here in the play ladder it's a uh, good deck I just don't know how competitive it is Obviously, there are some changes you could make. I, I basically just took all your weenie one and two drop flyers and I put them in a deck. So yeah, this is a uh, this will work. So I will probably turn one Tranquil Cove, turn two planes, drop a hawk and a Pegasus all together. Obviously, that is all very dependent on what I draw. So we are up against the mono green Ozil. Okay, it's a good deck. Uh, okay, so never mind. We are up against... Okay. I don't know what we're up against. First we're going to play this. Then we're going to play that. And now, if they gain life here, we can kill their pride mate. And I do value killing their pride mate a little more than anything. And I mean, they almost always have a way to gain life afterwards. Uh, now the question is, do they sacrifice their pride mate? They are going to sacrifice their pride mate. I realize that we are a aggro style deck. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna no block. We're gonna take that. Oh, puppies are so cute. Um, that is a beautiful draw. So we will go ahead and swing in, um, and we'll pass the turn. Come on. Sorry, my wife just sent me a picture of our new puppy, and it's adorable. Um, obviously, we can't get it yet. It's still, it's still too young. But uh, as soon as we get a chance, we will, uh, we will get that puppy, and I will, uh, we will display some pictures of it on on my uh, Twitter account. So I'm going to shock that in. Didn't really have to, but whatever, right? You only live once. We got life again on the board, so now we can flash in our Brazen Borrower at the end of turn and really get to swinging. Um, ideally, we'd like to see... Okay, they're going to make a Reach creature. And I think we're going to combat trick them with Rally of Rage. Diversity yep. is our greatest strength. Well, we're going to let that happen. So it's a 3-5 now, I don't really care about it. We'll take the three. No blocks. Damage. And on my turn, we will flash out a Brazen Bar. Another Brazen Bar. Let's go ahead and thin the deck a little bit here. Grab us a... We'll grab a blue source. Okay. Now we will... Hmm. Do I want to try to kill the Vivian? I'm going to send exactly 5 at Vivian, and 2 at their face. And we're going to, they will block to keep their Vivian alive. Chances are, they might block one of our, like, 1-1s. One They're going to block our Pegasus. Cool. Doesn't actually really matter, we're going to uh, rally wings. And we're going to go ahead and uh, smork on in. And pass the turn. Now, when they put this reach counter on their 3-5 of Vigilance, which is 
really what they want. We're going to bounce it. Okay, got another life gain land. Obviously putting a reach counter on something for us is, is a, a real pain in the butt. So that resolves. And we will not even allow them to attack with it. We will bounce that. So they guess they could like tear enough and blessing it. But uh, yeah, their pride mate's gonna get bigger, they're just gonna play it again, which is fine. Okay, so now we're kinda hitting the old uh, flood here. And we will pass turn. And if I had to guess, I'd say they're probably gonna put the plus one plus one counter and the reach counter back on their vigilant creature. Hmm. That's not good. This is a really interesting, you know, green-white vigilant style life gain-ish deck. Oh, yep, yeah, that makes perfect sense. No blocks. Okay, so we go to 13. Opponent is sitting at functionally 4. Tap a creature, that's a good draw. That will actually give us kind of a token factory so that we don't have to uh, pay the two life there. Go to combat, they'll tap some stuff down well. So that causes them to tap, which is fine. So we will, we will go ahead and swing in. We're going to get in for two, take them to eight. Not in the best of situations. Don't uh, don't really know how this is gonna go. So yeah, uh, let's look at some spoilers, shall we? Oh yeah, I think I think they're I think they're officially ahead of the game now. Let's go ahead and uh, load up the old spoiler thing. See if anything interesting is happening today. I haven't seen a whole lot. Let's see. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and scoop that up. Um, no, there wasn't a whole lot spoiled very interesting today. Um, Conspicuous Snoop seems like it's gonna be something pretty interesting outside of Standard. Because uh, Goblins and Standard isn't, uh, isn't super great. I guess you get the, what, the Banneret, Torch Courier... Maybe you might have some sort of goblins deck there, but it's not going to be anything super great. But uh, you know, I, I think that in a more eternal format, it's a pretty good hand. We'll keep a more eternal format. I do believe that it will it will see play somewhere. I mean, I personally myself, I have a goblin deck that I love. It's a good deck all the way around. Okay, so we do draw what is going to be yet another untapped one. So we probably will play this next turn. Depending on what they do, we will hold up Brazen Borrower or Spectral Sailor. So we're going to do that. Uh, you know what, let's play Hushbringer. This is a, that's their Growth Spiral turn. No, no Growth Spiral. Okay. I'm kind of interested to see what Simic is on. Uh, speaking of Simic, okay, so Simic and Champion, okay, let's we'll see you. But yeah, speaking of Simic, um, I do plan on when Core 21 drops, there is kind of an interesting thing that I have been uh, contemplating. You can get an Egan out on turn 4. Okay. Obviously this is perfect scenario, no removal, exactly what you need to draw. But uh, you can do that. You can get a Nugan the Spirit Dragon out on turn four, and I'm going to do that. That is going to be a video. I promise we will be doing that. Okay, so we're going to scoop. Cool. Um, 
Yeah, basically, I guess technically it's not... Eh, you can do it in standard with Gilded Goose. But yeah, basically you would play your turn one Mana Dork, turn two Cannon, and obviously these each follow with a land. Turn three Mana Dork, and then when, that's, when, turn four, when your turn four rolls and you play your fourth land, you're able to drop Ugin the Spirit Dragon on turn four. In standard. It, I know, it's insane. So, that's something I really want to try. Uh, I mean, that's modern levels of mana right there. Because you got to figure, even Eldrazi Tron, which runs... Um, it runs Ugin the Spirit Dragon. It can't get Ugin out until turn 4. Being an 8 mana card, Tron... In a perfect scenario, Tron only gives... That's a bad hand. Eh. Mulligan. This is a worse hand. Always keep... Okay. Guess this is what we're doing. And we'll pitch the Fairy Vandal... Spectral Sailor, I guess. I don't know. I don't love either of them. Um, but yeah, so... Eldrazi Tron runs... At its height, you just form it on turn... On turn four. Right, no, turn, turn three, it has eight. Right? That's what I'm trying to say. Sorry, I lost my train of thought there. Okay, so we are a mono black piece. Um, we're just gonna take that. Ooh, hush my name. Now that is a card I will take. Dying for the result match. And we will block their knight. If they go to combat now. They do. And they're not gonna swing with their knight. No blocks. We'll take the one. That doesn't bother me at all. Spawn of Mayhem. We're gonna go ahead and uh, bounce that Spawn of Mayhem. We're pretty short on mana here. Definitely should have kept that first hand, but... It wasn't the most playable. Uh, I didn't realize we were going to draw into literal garbage. There's unfortunately no way we can keep up with the Spawn of Mayhem. We don't run anything big enough. Tranquil Coat, that helps, that'll give us our third win. And we're gonna play a Loyal Pegasus. And a... Yeah. Uh, we're not gonna attack, and if we have to, we're going to block out completely. We uh, will kill this spawn. I may kill this vampire too. If they choose not to... Okay, so they are going to attack with the spot. So we will block here, here, and here. Here, here, and We need to work on that clicking. Oh my gosh. There. Block. Block. It doesn't have minutes. What, why did it say? Oh, Loyal Pegasus. Duh. And it can't kill all of our creatures, which is not great, but... Gotta do what you gotta do. Can't let that old thing happen. And it's another spell. Of course. Well, we are just so far behind on man. Uh, we're just... We're too far behind on we will no attack, and we're going to lose two stars. It is, uh... I can't, I don't understand why they're not attacking with their, their old Kniggit there. I would be pretty much dead at this point. Okay, so triple spawn of mayhem. Triple spawn of mayhem. Let's see if I can't... Jaba oh, you know what? That's a sorcery. I, yep. There's no jabate in there. I jabated myself. Okay. Alright. We are, uh, looking real dark outside. Really hoping to get this in before the power cuts out. I'll lose internet. If that happens, you guys probably won't see this video. So you won't no, I'll have to let you know in the next video. See, no, why can't we just, like, why can't one of those hands just be white? 
That's a good one. We'll pitch one of our fairy vandals. No, we won't. We're gonna pitch the spectral sailor. Oh, you know what? This isn't the one that draws a card on Enter. Boy, I really need to start reading the cards. That's, uh, that's twice. Back to back, but I... I messed that up. That's on me. Nobody else. We're gonna play our Sky Cat out. Good old Sky Kitty. And they're on four mana. They do nothing with their four mana. Well, that's interesting. I'm actually going to play my loyal Pegasi. They had nothing. That's really weird that a, that a green... Okay. Row a left. A four three. So if I did that, that becomes. Um, I'm gonna stay here. See if I can't bluff the. Uh, I'm just gonna flash out my fairy vandal and kill that instead of wasting my rally of wings. So their uh, their their paradise here is pretty swole. Good old Swoladash Druid. But next turn we should for 7, 8, Never 9, will 10, till 13, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. We swing lethal next turn with Rally of Wings. So, we're going to go straight into face. Next to Parkers, before damage. We'll do that, and yeah, Rally of Wings. Good card in this deck. Another reason to, uh, another reason to build it. Okay, looking good. Showcasing the deck pretty well here, liking it. Um, yeah, the new puppy we're getting. We are, uh, kind of debating on names here as a, uh, as a, as a family. My, uh, my daughter suggested that we name the puppy Zoom, uh, which is the villain in the second season of The Flash, he's a uh, speedster, and my son, and my son suggested Bad Hand, keepable though, I'm gonna keep it, Bad Hand but we keep, that's what we do here, yes, and my son suggested that we name him Parker, and I guess we're gonna mulligan, because I hit the wrong button, Parker, for Peter Parker, so... Go ahead and give me your ideas, suggestions, comments, or anything like that on what you guys think of those. Um, I personally, if we're going to go with one of those two names, I personally like Zoom a little better. I don't uh, I don't love Spider-Man as a superhero. I think, he, I think he's good, but there are better superheroes. So they've definitely got some type of... Let's go ahead and we'll play our Loyal Pegasus and we'll pass. Come on, just grow a spiral. I guess it could wild worm preserver, but it's always grow a spiral. Nobody plays wild worm preserver. Teamer! What we're doing here is we're just trying to keep... Hmm, gateway Plaza. That's interesting. Hmm. Blue-green, green-red... We're on like a teamer ramp of some sort. And I seriously forgot to flash out my pirate. Oh good. I screwed that up. Oh my gosh, I'm getting ahead of myself. But yeah, so a couple things on the channel here. Um, as I've stated before, I'm just still kind of elemental. I mean we kind of knew that with teamer though. Anyway, so no box. What was the thing? Yeah, here on the channel, we are going to be doing. Why did I? What? I swear I'm misclicking so much. I'm probably actually going to use the four mana to draw a card here later. But we have uh, we have some openings coming up on the channel here. I. Uh, 
this coming week I'm gonna go pre-order at least two boxes of M21. I like the way the set looks so far. Um, I'm also go I also have a secret layer Theros. I have the full I have the full bundle coming. Um, what else is there? I have oh yes, I have the uh, I have Secret Layer Summer Drop Series. I have the full bundle coming there. So, a lot of things to look forward to on the channel opening-wise. Uh, I do hope... I'm going to put this, you know, in, quote, in, in big quotations. I do hope that I can get a box of Double Masters. Um, I, like I said, I am from a, a smaller area, so we don't always... Get some of the larger, larger quantity th boxes. Um, we had to wait a little longer than normal on Ikoria just because of everything happening in the world. Oh, dear. Ew. I mean, elementals are starting to do things. So here we are drawing our card. Not forgetting this time. Um, that really matter. We're, we're in a bad spot here. Like, I don't blame for letting all that through there. There, I mean, they're on what? One, two, three, four, five, six mana. Seven, eight. Yep, that, that about kills it for us. Target equal to the number of elements. So that we can, we will lose, what, one, two, three. I'm actually super okay with that. That's, uh, that's like best case scenario. But they, you know, what, one, two, three, four, five, six. I wish it's six damage on something for cost five. I mean, the Cloud can see is getting to be a bit of a friggin' problem here. So we pretty much... Wait, one, two, three. So they take three, then they take two, then they take none. So we can get them down to approximately... Jeez, uh, they're popping off now. Yep, they are, uh... They are officially popping off. Gotta love Teamer Elementals. So we will draw our card. We're gonna draw an Idyllic Grange and a Tranquil Co. Awesome. Put it on the other side. And now we will do this. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we can still pass this. Offer the trade, bud. Good. Nope. Uh, we are uh, currently fighting a losing battle. Unfortunately, not running removal slots is... It's not a good idea. Don't do it. Don't ever build a deck that doesn't run removal in some way, shape, or form. Like, I mean, if you're running a green deck... Put in, put in a couple, put in a couple voracious hydras. They're a removal spell on a creature. You know, it doesn't always have to. You know, murderous rider, removal spell on a creature. You need something like that, or otherwise, just tumor elementals is gonna pop off. And I'm gonna let them pop off. You know, it doesn't really matter ultimately. Not to, not gaining anything here. Not losing anything. Not, not a whole lot happening today in spoilers. Unfortunately. Resolve. 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 I don't know. They're about, out of, about halfway through their deck. Oh, resolve. I did, uh... It's just kind of an interesting... Not, not, I guess not an interesting thing, but it's a thing that's happening. Um, I did lose my mouse. I have no idea where my mouse went, so I'm, uh, using the, uh, the old laptop part here. 
Well, they can get their cloud kin back to a turn. Uh, they do need to actually kind of be careful. They may mill themselves out. Right? And then sacrifice it, right? Yeah. Um, so I will idyllic Grange again. And I got one, two, three, four. Yeah. Okay. That's great. I mean, you're going to put cards in my hand? I love it. Really can do it. Yeah, so we're just gonna we're just gonna sit through Trigger City here. Um, I'm just gonna let it happen. I mean they've they've got to be about out of lands now. What do they have? Two, three, four, five. I don't think I'm gonna block. I'm just gonna let them. I'm just gonna let them hit me. There's a lot of damage there, but you know. Whatevs live dangerously and whatnot. Oh, and they're gonna attack conservatively. And here we go with Trigger City again. I let me let me just say that I will be super super happy when M20 rotates out. There's nothing wrong with M20. Like it really was a good set. I don't have any complaints about it per se. I think there was a couple of cards that shouldn't have been printed that were, but. Ultimately, I mean, M20 is not that bad, but I'm just really, I'm over trigger happy Risen Reefs and whatnot, and quasi duplicating them. And I think I'm ready for a fresh standard. This guy's got what, 14 cards in his hand? He doesn't have to discard though, so that's nice. Should let me draw some cards, bud. Teferi Tantrix. So that brings their Cloudkin back. And we're back to Trigger City, chick. Trigger Triggy City, chick. You really need to be careful. Because I can keep myself alive for a couple turns. And I forgot to draw. Whatever. Let's play our Hush for the first. We'll play Idyllic Grange with the plus one plus one counter on the. On the Hushbringer. Let's draw a card. Leaving us with exactly two mana. So a Skycat Sovereign would be perfect here. Fairy Vandal. I guess that's a. That's a doable card. And we're gonna pass. I think we're just gonna let them try to mill themselves out. Um, I I do apologize, but this is going to be not like ideal great gameplay. But I mean, what do you do? So they have a way to pretty much mill themselves here, and I'm gonna chump block out because they can't play anything. Oh, the Hushbringer stops it all. Wish I wouldn't have done that. Mm. Hushbringer is literally helping them in this situation. Yeah, fibble tip blinking. Ew, 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 ew. Oh, shoot. They should go to combat first. They're not gonna swing. What I think I'm going to do, because ultimately my goal here is I want them to mill out. So I'm going to attack with this. That's what I want. They're trying to figure out what my trick is. I don't have a trick. I want my Hushbringer to die. Yep. Because I... Don't want you to be able to do it. So one, two, three. So I can activate this again if I need to. Empyrean Eagle. That would leave me with just one. No, I didn't want to cast that. Okay. So 
they get double triggers, they basically mill themselves out this turn and they have to kill. Four, six, seven, eight, nine. They have nine powers. Nine creatures, I have what, six. Now, every time they play an elemental, they get double triggers. Oh, they got a chase. Are they your weapons? Nice. Let's, let's try this. So, they still have to be careful. They kind of prematurely played their Jace. On their up before they draw. Just I'm, like I said, I'm okay with everything that's happening right now. You go ahead and draw your library out. Because Oh, and they're just gonna folio on their head, yo. I knew I shouldn't have played that interior maybe. Yep, that happened. Huh, that's pretty nifty. Alright, well, we're going to cut it there. Um, if you guys did enjoy the video, please do like and subscribe. I really do appreciate all of the uh, support I have been getting. Um, I would uh, I would like to uh, I would like to see the channel grow a little bit, you know. So tell your friends, tell anybody, share it on your social medias, whatever you guys want to do. I do, I would appreciate all of that. But, uh, let's go ahead and get us a little bonus pack opening here. Let's do War of the Spark. I ain't done, I ain't done War of the Spark in a while. So we will go back over here now. And we're going to open it. And we get a Fibble Thip. That's my first Fibble Thip. Nice. Alright, well you guys have a wonderful day. Be safe. And, yeah.